Hello everyone, my name's Tim, I'm the Silver Coder, and today we're looking at getting our um, environment set up for Android development. And unfortunately that's all time may allow for today, but we are going to do some programming. In actual fact, the program that is, you know, the Hello World Android program does actually run on my phone, so yes. We have a winner so far. So the question is, what did it take to get to this point? Well, on Saturday I was going to do looking to, let's say, connect Delphi to my phone. And suffice to say that whenever I clicked on the, uh, the target section under either uh, Android 32-bit or Android 64-bit, the target section was empty and nothing I could do would make it appear. And when I went and looked in the settings, you know, for uh, my project, let's say for my project, and that's under deployment and the SDK manager here, some of these settings here had uh, little warning symbols next to them which indicated there was a problem of some sort. So um, I know I had a missing directory for one of them, and I know that the last one here also had, um, it, was lo it looks for a source.properties file, and I can guarantee you that file was also missing. So I said, hmm, so how do we fix up these problems? That took me to uh, this web, you know, to the this particular web page here about the Delphi 12 not installing the Android SDK properly. So I said, hmm, similar to what I've got, and let's see what it suggested. Well, the first thing that you know I tried was to go under the Manage Features settings, and from there I found out. We'll just wait for it to appear, hopefully. Um. From there, my Android settings here were, let's just say, um, the Open JDK 17 was not selected. Now, I'm not quite sure what happened, and I don't really, you know, as, at the end of the day, for me, it doesn't really matter. I will happily take the blame that I didn't select that one. And when I selected that and then clicked the Apply button, it goes through all of the downloading, installing, you know, overall progress, etc. But afterwards, I still had the problem where the files were uh, missing, shall we say. And I thought, hmm. But it got me also to thinking, well, you know, just as an aside, uh, that, well, maybe it needs me to be an administrator to install whatever is needed to needs to be installed the page then also how it, well, this particular thing here then talks about well okay um, need to go to the command line tools and to try to install some things manually you know it's possible that something else had been found so what I did do was to manually install you know some of these um, components which I found to be let's say missing in from missing from my environment now if we go to here and by the way what I've just what you see here is an output from an SDK manager double minus list and uh, you can see that, um, well, basically what you can see here is what the what packages have been installed, and what packages are, or, you know, are available and can be installed. So, basically, what I needed to do was to install the platform tools, and as well as the Android dash thirty five, you know, under platforms. So. One of these, one, hang on, not build tools, but um, one of the one of these ones, and uh, wherever the platforms are, or you know, the other one, DOS-based installer worked fine. Restarted Delphi, um, and the 
this got me past the problems in uh, here in the in under tools options where I was able to find the appropriate folder that was being used and uh, or you know where these files were located however I, I was unfortunately I could not for whatever reason you know the laptop and the phone decided they weren't going to talk to each other um, I mean I couldn't see files on the phone but as far as the debugging was concerned it wasn't going at all so I thought hmm well if I think I've got everything installed as it should be what I may as well do is to do a full install of Android Studio you know because I would expect it to be able to function correctly and I <laughs> So I basically did a full install of the Android Studio Koala version and I'm going to say that it has quite a nice feature or cool feature is that you can actually connect to your device wirelessly and, that, and, and this is by the way um, handled through a QR code. Once I opened my uh, got to my opened up the uh, scan with the QR code. By the way, this is under wireless um, wireless debug settings. If you search for wireless debug, you can find the location under settings, and you can select the pair um, function there. And from there, you, once you scanned. I was then able to see the device in Android Studio. So I said, hmm, okay, that's looking good. Maybe it'll work under Delphi now. Um, and lo and behold, you know, the my device was now appearing in Delphi. So I will call that, you know, that I had to do a, you know, I did have to do a refresh, you know, here in order to um, see it. So it, don't, it didn't appear automatically. Today, then, when I get to my computer, I find out that they're not taught, you know, that the uh, laptop or my Delphi, you know, environment can't see the target at the moment or couldn't see the target. And so I then came upon... Um, this particular page here and uh, I was able to follow the instructions here oh, and by the way this particular program or sorry page you know tells about how can I while how can I connect my Android device with Delphi well the first thing I tried was to the you know the ADB you know space devices nothing's listed hmm no, that's interesting. So I go into my phone. I can see what port the um, a you know what port's being used for debugging on my phone, and it is not the <coughs> excuse me the default double five double five port number. And I was able to then connect, you know, to the uh, from my laptop, you know, ADB space connect space the IP address colon port number that was specified under the wireless debugging settings on my phone. And then I was able to, it took a, I don't know how long it took, but it wasn't, you know, instant coming back, but it was able to connect and I was able to then do an ADB devices and I could see my phone and then when I went back into Delphi that my phone now appears as a device which I can deploy to. So what we have on the left hand side now is a you know the Hello World Android program it's just a label on a form and I'm not going to necessarily show you it running um, but I will show you the building process of the whole thing. Uh, let's go. Where's my build, 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 build? Um, oh. By the way, I haven't changed the name of any part of it, so um, 
it's into a linking phase right now and that was successful and the next part you could do after that is to um, deploy it which basically will in effect be runs a copying to your phone type function you can see how it's um, building up all the images and the XML files and other parts which it needs in order to run it's creating an APK file uh, and when I run it on my phone I can tell you right now that what it will tell me is that my the version of the um, program is doesn't meet the, the new Google Play Store requirements um, but the program does still run so this is a win so far we'll call it um, basically I have to I do in my let's say my next step will be to you know double check which version of um, the build of which version of the SDK I'm using and making sure it is set as what Google wants shall we say if that's possible because I know from the various posts um, in the Delphi community there uh, were I'm speaking in past tense some issues with the latest Google requirements and then there was a, a post about the beta program as well you don't just put a question mark there um, you know for um, for Android development so that's the, that will be the next step but you know for the first part now so far so good and if I could perhaps and oh, and by the way I don't um, be grown the having to install Android Studio because it will allow me to install other versions of the SDK if I need to and in theory I should be able to point you know Red Studio towards them hopefully um, and perhaps to summarize I will say you know this whole experience is that what I all that needed to be done was to work out which components or packages were missing then through an administrator console to and using the SDK manager to install those don't be a normal user you know like the normal user you need to be you need to have the necessary rights for the packages to be installed the um, third thing was then to be able to from my laptop to be able to connect to the phone using a wireless connection as per the other web page and if we if you have all of those steps sort of like covered then connect you know then let's just say should the same should I lose my target tomorrow basically it should be just a case of checking what port and host is being or IP address is being used connecting to that and it should then be visible again in Delphi before that like I said it was just a case of you know uh, installing some packages so if you do get stuck in this sort of space then uh, have a look at those sites I mentioned I'll put them in the link um, below there so and if you otherwise you know this video might be helpful as well um, just know that you know you can get it running or you know working properly and uh, go from there so t like I said in the next videos we'll be looking at doing some proper development with the to do program that's about it for the video today and please don't forget to hit that like button to uh, share to um, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with the latest content and uh, until next time Thank you, and I will see you later. Bye.